Hi everyone, it's Isabella here and welcome back to the channel. So today's video. So I told you guys all about how I was going to be making a video about the MLM and the new information behind this Pearl multi-level marketing company. But today I wanted to actually really do another thorough deep dive about the predatory MLM, in my opinion, that's behind these Pearl lives, okay? There's been some changes that have been happening when it comes to this brand. They made some updates actually ever since I last talked about them. So I thought it was a good time to dive into it because yeah, it's... It's not very good. Before we hop in today's video, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to the channel, and click the bell button down below. My merch, second channel, podcast, Instagram, TikTok, all that good stuff is in the description below if you guys wanna check that out and hang out with me more. And yeah, let's get into it. Real quickly though, I do wanna take a moment to thank today's sponsor. All right, you guys, we need to talk about the gift that keeps on giving, which is sex toys. Now, I know you guys have heard me talk and completely rave about Love Honey and how I'm absolutely obsessed with their brand. And today, I'm partnering up with them to give away free sex toys and gift vouchers. So if you guys don't know, Love Honey is the world's biggest online retailer for all things pleasure. Love Honey promises discreet shipping and a 100 day money back guarantee, which is an amazing deal. So naturally, I have to tell you guys my current two favorites that I'm absolutely obsessed with. Okay, the rose toy that has been viral on TikTok and also the womanizer. So the rose toy is an air pleasure toy that, that has 10 different functions. It's waterproof and a runtime of 65 minutes. So you, you should be pretty good with this. Now the womanizer, on the other hand, I love because it's really travel friendly and also has pleasure air technology. Both are absolutely amazing. However, you can't just take my word for it. And Love Honey is wanting to spice it up for you this year. They're going to be giving away literally thousands of products, which is absolutely amazing. And all you have to do is go in the link in the description below and sign up to get your free gift voucher or toy. It's as simple as that. And then you're also entered into many other giveaways as well. So keep an eye out. Thank you so much to Love Honey for partnering with me on it today's video and for constantly giving me some very magical experiences. And now let's get into today's video. Picture this, you're scrolling on your For You page. You come across this really fascinating live that has people shucking like pearls or you know what I'm talking about. Every time I mess that statement up, okay? They're shucking oysters or whatever and they're pulling out a pearl, all right? And it's really fascinating. There's a wide variety of pearls that have different colors. It looks really fun and entertaining. And like you just sit there and like you get into the live, right? But after a little bit, the individual that you're watching talks about how she has a Facebook group or just a group in general, where if you guys are interested in doing the exact same thing as her, but make money while doing it, uh, you can do the same thing too. And it's a great opportunity. She's been able to change her life with it and so much more. Now you have absolutely no idea anything about this. You're like, oh my God, I need to get information on it. So you go to Facebook, you find her group or you go whatever link she has and you go and ask her questions, whether it's you DM her, get in a Facebook group, whatever the case may be. And there is when you start getting information that's given to you by the said individual from the live. She'll start telling you about, oh my gosh, like you, you're you not gonna believe how much of an amazing opportunity this is. I've been able to have so much time freedom. This is so fun. It's so easy for me to do on TikTok. I've been able to make so much money off of it. This is just an amazing side hustle for anyone, whether it's a little bit of income or a lot, anything is possible. All you have to do is buy a starter kit and you just post and try to make content and generate income through that way. And people will want to buy these pearls from you and you can do lives. And it's just a really, really fun way of making money. You thinking, oh, it's actually, yeah, a really good opportunity. I can have fun while making money. Like who wouldn't be interested in that? So you go and you purchase the kit. You see you can range from $100, sometimes more. But you're like, you were told it was an investment. Okay, so you go and buy because like, why would this random person who's making money too sell you a bunch of bullshit, you know? And you being the trusting individual, you buy it, right? So you start this whole process and then you realize there's a lot of things that you weren't informed of when you originally joined. And now you might be on this video hoping that you don't experience that or maybe you have experienced that and you're trying to learn everything because you're sitting here thinking, am I crazy to question this opportunity? Hi, bestie. Uh, so that's exactly why I'm here. We're gonna be going on how to actually join this MLM, products, what's really involved, the compensation plan, how you actually get paid, the income opportunity, like the data behind this company. I'm gonna explain why MLMs are bad and the data behind that as well. Other false claims, conversations about trips and other really sketchy things I see that are posted up about this to give you essentially the other side. So this Pearl Time MLM has really changed a lot ever since I actually last talked about it. So let's kind of do a quick scroll through of many products that they have. So they have rings, bracelets, actual ways that you can like shuck oysters and get pearls. They have, they even have fizz bombs, which is another thing we're going to talk about later. So going through a couple of these, you can see that there are some items that are rings, for example, where they are ranging from $60, 70, 55, 48. There's just a big range of them. Now I'm going to be honest from the reason why I talk about these items first is 
because I want to give a preface to what this company is about, what you are going to be pretty much selling and marketing off to people. Now, these are items that people can purchase from you if you decide to be a consultant. And I want to talk about this from a my personal viewpoint and also just selling items viewpoint. I feel like when it comes to an MLM or if you're wanting to start something and sell an item, you want it to be something that is more sellable and you can have a higher chance of making a return. And just from looking at this personally, now this is just my taste. Some people might like it, some might not. I personally think the this looks kind of kind of average, you know, which is the oysters and games. So they have pearl drops, oysters, games, and so much more. So the oysters are where you, people can order an oyster for you and they can open and they will essentially be rated according to how like good they are, rare they are, everything. Okay. Uh, a huge problem that I have with these pearls. And again, I will have this information pop up over here, but a lot of these pearls can be, uh, dyed and complete bullshit. I don't really know all of the process and I haven't been able to find a lot of information in regard to the specific process of pearl time. But from what I have seen from other companies, uh, in my opinion, some of these can be completely artificial and ridiculous. And in what world are you going to get like an actual pearl that's like a fuchsia pink? You know what I'm saying? If anyone has any other information about that, definitely comment it down below. But this is what we're seeing. And I think that this is kind of overpriced shit, in my opinion. Again, you can have a different perspective. But my thing is, is this sounds more of like an overpriced claw machine opportunity. And if you are someone who's trying to sell it, it doesn't look like it's going to go that well for you. They have a single pearl. So it's $20 for one bomb, which is okay. Interesting. They drop that and then you see what pearl you get or what item you get. You can buy even more. It could be a petite pearl drop tray. There's just many that you can purchase. But again, I think that's still quite expensive for just one, in my opinion, when you can literally buy pearls and freshwater pearls and many other beautiful pieces for this amount or if any think cheaper and are better quality. So that's just kind of my personal preference and perspective when it comes to the products. But let's actually talk about how to join this MLM because I know some of you guys are like, okay, well, how, how do we get involved? It says your story begins here. They have tons of photos of promoters that are all over. And again, it to me is appearing that this is a family oriented business. That's what they're trying to show to you. They're trying to make this look like it's a great opportunity, family oriented. And many people that are like moms and everyday people like you are doing this so you can do it too. It's is at the heart of Pearl Time lies our consultants, an extension of our family, the glue that binds our team together, and the individuals who add a sprinkle of fun into our workday. We always shout from the rooftops how important our consultants are, and the best part, we always have room to grow. Get started today. So this is how the opportunity is being marketed off to you, and there's me, which I'm going to tell you the rest of how I personally feel about this and why I think some of the shit is sketchy as hell. Vision and values. First, they have exceptional craftsmanship, exceeding expectations, integrity-driven and committed to quality. Your best life starts here. Competitive pay, 25 to 30% commissions with no caps. Health benefits, vision, dental, and telemedicine benefits, which is actually kind of interesting because I've never seen that offered in a multi-level marketing company, but I would like to know because that is extremely rare. But if there are certain levels or things you have to hit in order to uh, qualify for that. Curious, but we'll see. It says career growth. Build a team with unlimited earning potential. Fast start rewards. Double incentive rewards for your first 90 days and send to trips. Earn your ways to the beach with your Pearl Time family and earn free jewelry. Earn unlimited shopping credits. So it says you can get started today by either a petite kit, a midi pearl kit, a mega pearl kit, or a colossal starter kit. So this is how much you have to spend with investing and getting started into the company. So keep that in mind because we are going to use these numbers in the future to show you why you're, there's a good chance you're going to be in the negatives if you start this off. Petite is $100, but it's a $250 value. Midi is $159, $650. 50 value. The mega $199, $200 essentially, which is a $770 value. And the colossal is $500, but almost a $1,300 value. When we look at this kind of investment, I have to kind of think about the original data that is around why MLMs are so problematic. So again, I'm going to whip this out. Some of you guys do or don't know this. You can skip on to the next timestamp. But according to the FTC, 99.6% of participants either lose money or make no money when they join a multi-level marketing company. Now I try and look at the income disclosure statement per every MLM. I talk about, which is essentially a little chart that's saying, hi, this is our company and how much most promoters are making in our company according to rank. So that is usually what I look at to compare the data. And many times I see that they are very, very similar to each other. So that's something to keep in mind. And again, I know some people will rebuttal and say, well, no, like there's some people who don't do anything. It's all about how much effort you put in. Even the FTC acknowledges that no 
matter how hard you work, there's still a chance you will make literally no money at all. So again, even the people that work really, really hard sometimes don't get a lot in return. There are very, very rare cases. And just because it's working for someone doesn't mean it's gonna work for everyone. And I wouldn't risk my money on an opportunity that has an over 90% chance of failure, no matter how much I do. You know what I mean? But hey, let's look into this. So we have $100 for the first starter kit. Now I cannot find an income disclosure statement for Pearl time. To me, I think and consider that as a red flag. Now, if I do see any other, I will pop it up here on the screen. But as I was digging into it more, I couldn't personally find an income disclosure statement. I consider that a red flag because if the company has been around for long enough, they should be offering, even though I know they're not legally required to, I do think that they should show an income disclosure statement because it should show you transparency of how much you might be able to maybe, maybe expect if you were joining the MLM. Now, the only thing that we really compare it to is the information that is given to us by the FTC, which is most people make no money. So if you purchase a $100 starter kit, or if you do one that is almost 200 or 500, you can be in the complete negatives and not even make a return, no matter how hard you work, even if you work for six months or even a year. And let's say you do make around $600 back finally, or even if you make a thousand, that's not including taxes or pulling out the cost of your starter kit or anything for that matter. It could get really, really expensive after a while. And I consider that to be quite problematic because why in the world would I spend so much money starting something and I have a high chance of failure and then I'm in the negatives and I'm shucking a bunch of smelly pearls on a lie. Also, another fun fact I want to say, and this is a lot a thing that not a lot of people consider, is the fact that in order to go live and do a lot of promotion when it comes to social media, there's a lot of work and effort that you have to put in to grow that said social media platform. Again, after so long, your family is not going to buy a bunch of pearls for you. So you have to grow a social media platform. What they don't tell you is certain platforms have certain standards and requirements in order for you to go live. So for example, certain TikTok accounts cannot go live until they have a certain amount of following, which means you have to do a lot of posting and marketing on your end in order to even have access to that feature. Now, Facebook, for example, you don't have to, but either way, you still have to do a lot of marketing to grow your platform. And not many people know how to grow a platform. Not many people have the time to grow a platform to sell an item. Some people don't explain to potential promoters the amount of effort that it takes to build a platform and have a consistent growth with that. It is quite difficult to grow a social media platform. It took me a long ass time to grow mine even on YouTube. I have friends of mine who've yeah, grown the, theirs in 10 months, but it takes time. And if anyone is telling you that you can quickly grow a platform or you can make this happen, you can work really hard, it still takes a lot of research to learn how to grow your platform, a lot of value content, consistency, time and effort. And even if you do all that, you still don't have a promise of growing your platform on social media. And so no matter how hard you work or how many lives you get on, you might still not get any people purchasing from you, which is a reality of being a content creator, right? Like you, no matter how hard you work sometimes, if you do a lot of stuff with content and if you don't know what you're doing, sometimes you're putting a lot of effort into something that won't work out for you because you don't know what you're doing. And I'm going to be honest, I have seen top leaders in actual, a previous video of mine, encourage individuals to purchase followers, which is another expense and also really problematic and wrong to do because that could flag your account and get it taken down. But telling you to purchase followers so you can have access to these features, that doesn't change the fact though, that you don't have any followers really engaging with you. And who knows if you'll have people engaging with you. So you could be wasting hours shucking pearls and talking about your products and not have any sales. And additionally, you have to start somewhere. So if you're sitting there trying to shuck pearls, are you wasting a lot of inventory and money just to get people to watch you? Is it, It's gonna take a long time. So people have to think about the fact that it might take a long time. So some people will say, you don't need a platform to get started. But honestly, for the best case scenario to see if you can make your commissions back, you might honestly need to have a platform. Otherwise, you're gonna struggle a lot. And many people get discouraged by the lack of engagement on social media after a few months and say, it. I'm not going to do this anymore because it's not paying off because some people don't know what social media entails. So these are some things that can essentially lead to failure. And why I'm telling you this is because if you invest $100 or if you're convinced to spend $300 or $500, for example, whatever the case may be, you might be in the negatives and wasted several hundred of dollars on inventory and you might not even get any customers. And think about how many customers you're going to have to get in order to make that money back, not including taxes, fees or anything else that could potentially 
eventually happen as you were trying to develop and grow this platform. This is the kind of stuff I don't think people talk about when it comes to this MLM. And quite frankly, that freaks me out because many people considering it in an investment think that they're gonna get a return on that investment. When in all reality, it's going to be extremely difficult, in my opinion, for you to get that retracement back. And there's many of these women that you see that are successful and doing so good on this. And yeah, that they are good. There's some people I'm seeing doing amazing. They have a following. They're able to have consistent new customers and engagement. Sometimes they do have consistent customers and engagement, but some of these people have a shit ton of followers and some of you do not have that. I'm not saying it's impossible to grow a platform. Again, I started with literally nothing and only my mother in my comment section. So like, I get it, trust. All I'm saying is it takes a lot of time and effort. And some of the stuff is not properly disclosed to you, in my opinion. So let's talk about the compensation plan. With what I'm looking at right now with no income disclosure statement, which in my opinion is a red flag, I would expect for you to have a low chance of making a return unless you have a shit ton of people engaging with you and wanting to purchase. And if that, it's going to be really hard to grow and make that happen. Now let's look at the compensation plan. If there is an updated compensation plan, if there's any information that people can forward to me that they find that they have access to that I don't, please send it my way. My goal is not to misinform people. My goal is to have the most transparency and honest information I can possibly give to you. So the compensation plan, again, is a fun little document that's like, hi, here's all the ways that you can earn money with us. And why it's important to talk about is because there could be red flags and things on there that you might not see when you join, or you might not realize that's going to be a little bit harder than you expected. And some of it's a little a little suspicious. So first of all, this is the Pearl Time Compensation Plan. It talks about unlimited earning. And this is the compensation plan for Pearl Time, confirming it's basically an MLM. Let's look at some of the ways that you can make money. Consultant level. So these are all the ranks at the very top in pink. Yeah, the ranks are pretty much of like what you can be at. So when you join, you are a Pearl Consultant, it looks like. And then Junior Consultant, Senior Consultant, Pearl Manager, Senior Pearl Manager, and Executive Pearl Manager. These are ranks that you can hit as you grow throughout the company. A huge thing I pay attention to with these is like, what are the requirements to get there? You know, like, are they all dependent on a team? Because a common thing people hear about MLMs is like, you have to have a team or get a team in order to make real money and grow in this company. And I think it's a red flag when one, majority of ways of earning income are by having a team. And two, if you have to have a team to grow throughout the ranks, I think you should personally be able to sell products and that's it. And you're able to grow throughout the ranks. It shows to say that for personal sales required 25% base to get 25 commission you have to sell $250 in personal volume on Pearl Consultant. It goes up to $625 in personal volume for Junior Consultant. Now here's where I have the problem. The next thing is required team sales. Unless I'm not seeing something correctly, it is very obviously stating team sales is required here to hit this rank. So for Junior Consultant, $1,050 is required for team sales. Now, I don't know if that includes how much you make in personal sales, but either way, that should be a red flag. Why is it that you can't hit these other team levels and don't have a team. And again, as you can see, it keeps growing. For the highest rank, you have to have 11,000 of personal sales and a required team sales of 60,000. Now, I think it is good that this company is offering ways of essentially making sure you have personal sales while also at the same time having a team sale. I do think that is good. Do I think it's still alarming that you are required to have a team to grow these ranks? Yes, yes, I do. So additionally, another thing I wanna say is personal qualified recruits. For junior consultant, the second level of the company, you do have to have personally qualified recruits and it grows as you get bigger in the team. So you still have to recruit people. Personal qualified senior consultants. Now you have to have a requirement for people at a specific rank once you hit Pearl Manager. I think it's odd that you want to recruit people to sell the exact same shit as you. I think it's odd that you make money off of the people that you recruit where after so long you're not even really coaching them or doing anything for that matter. In my opinion, you can't help everyone out in your downline. And also statistically, if most people are losing and not making any money at all, it sounds really unethical if you are the one making making money, but your team is losing money because they're putting so much effort into trying to make it. You, you see what I'm saying? That's, that's a little suspicion sketch to me. So I personally think this compensation plan is not the worst of the worst, but I do think that the requirement to have a team is a red flag to me. I think you should be able to grow throughout the company and be able to rank at the top of the company and have additional incentives because you are doing incredibly well with just you and your sales alone. Like I would assume that would be a little bit more impressive to me to, you know, not recruit people into selling the same stuff, but me being just me growing a platform and selling strictly 
and that's it. I think I would want to have more benefits from that than getting and recruiting people into a system. That sounds very unethical. So looking at this entire compensation plan, I personally think that this is not a good opportunity. Now, another problem that I'm having with this so far as I'm digging into this company is I think there's a lack of information that's accessible to people and they can like actually learn about it. For example, the medical and dental and vision insurance, right? That I was like, oh, okay, I want to see that. I want to learn about that. I cannot find anything. Like I have been Googling, I've been digging, I can't find any details about this. And I would assume that if putting that publicly would entice people to join, because if you get a better incentive or opportunity or something of that matter, maybe people would join. I think that's unethical to put that up and not give any information out there that I'm able to see to tell people how you can have access to that and if that could be beneficial. As you guys know, many people need medical, dental, and vision, and that's extremely expensive. The bill is unreal. I am so tired of how expensive this kind of stuff is. And I think the entire system is no matter where you're at. It's awful. My point is, is I, in my opinion, think that is extremely manipulative to put that up there as a marketing tactic to have zero information so you can really learn about it. Talk about if there are requirements and things you have to do to have access to that. And again, is it just something where they're like, oh, here, let me connect you to somebody. And it's not really anything unique or special. It's something you can do on your own, or it's just a way of getting you into the MLM. I think that is a problem. Why is there not more information for me to walk through and talk you guys through about that? I think that's suspicious. That should be a red flag to some people, in my opinion. So another problem that I have is I don't find any information about the trips that are quote unquote free. Again, I think that is a huge red flag if I can't figure out how to earn these trips and get all my information before uh, joining and investing my money and time. Now, again, I do want to say just this is across the board what I've seen with MLMs. If I have new information about this, let me know. Uh, but when it comes to a lot of MLMs, the amount of sheer effort you have to put in to even possibly earn a free trip is unreal. And there are many times that the trips aren't actually free because whatever money they spend on you to take you on a trip, you have to pay taxes on that. So you have to pay technically some level of percentage of the trip because it's like on your taxes. So sometimes they talk about free trips and earning trips. I don't know how accurate that is. And I don't know how much really you can earn for free. So I would just keep that in mind joining in because that is something I see with many multi-level marketing companies. Now, other sketchy things I do want to talk about is the fact that I found a lawsuit that is happening right now. So there's a lot of shit going on apparently with Pearl Time and the ring bomb party MLM. Okay, so I literally just actually saw this. I was like, oh, girl, the girls are fighting. Let's get into the shit. Okay, so I am not able to see a ton of information right now, but apparently Pearl Time is suing ring bomb party and some other new consultants. So there is other posts on Reddit and things like that. And this, again, this is all kind of up in the air. I am going to have things linked in the description below. This is what I'm seeing people commenting on and finding out. I don't think there's enough information for me to truly be able to make like more statements about this. This is kind of still ongoing. I'm just going to share what I found with you guys. Do with this information what you will. I do think it needs to be talked about. So as you guys do know, okay, we have the Pearl Party MLM that is kind of similar to the Ring Bomb Party, especially now that Pearl Time is making their Pearl Drop shit. I'm just like, I'm sorry. My thing is, that's a, in my opinion, that's a direct fucking copy from Ring Bomb Party, you goofy ass. Like, oh my God. Anyways, a fun fact, not really fun fact, that you do or don't know, some MLMs have a non-disclosure agreement, an NDA. So you're technically like signing a contract when you join an MLM, all right? So sometimes they have non-compete agreements where if you're joining the MLM, you're agreeing to not join any other MLM uh, or an MLM that might be considered like competition because it's considered competition. They don't like that. It's it's so fucking stupid. It genuinely is stupid. Again, it's like me saying, oh my God, you worked at a retail store. You can't work at another retail store for like a year. That is the dumbest fucking thing I've ever heard in my life, but okay, whatever. And again, I'm sorry, but my thing is, is like girl, girl time, like maybe get a little bit more unique. Ring bomb party, maybe do the same thing or better yet, don't be fucking MLM. Nonetheless, let's dive into this. Okay, so I see this popping up and I am immediately shocked by what the hell is happening. Here is a commenter on Reddit that posted up 15 days ago and it says, when a person Person joins Bomb Party, they sign a contract. In that contract, there is a non-compete agreement and it includes a time frame where if you resign or quit the MLM, you agree to wait a certain amount of time to sign up with a competing company. I will attach a photo of the court records which show what Pearl Times agreement says. These ladies sign that contract, quit, and then sign up with Bomb Party without waiting on the agreed upon time. So apparently there was a bit of a mass exodus where a bunch of people joined Pearl Time and they were like, oh my God, great, let's do that. And they're like, oh shit, fuck it, never mind, and go over during Bomb Party. That's allegedly what's going on, okay? So there is a, a long ass list of people that Pearl Time is going after, Bomb Party and their now consultants, which is 
Oh my God. A lot of Bomb Party reps have quit Bomb Party and went to Rise, which I don't know that company. Um, Bomb Party has a similar contract, but instead of 24 months wait time, their contract says six months. These reps need to be warned to wait six months before. If not, they're able to be sued. Hope this helps. So this is another comment that's uh, allegedly up. This is like calling the cops because your plug shorted you. These companies are so shit. Like even the non-compete from Pearl Clams is just silly. They're going to sue someone that works at a seed food restaurant. Sir, I would have to ask you not to order the clams. I am forbidden due to my ties to the organized TikTok. Pearl shucking. Not that it's enforceable, but it says jewelry, oysters, and pearls. Obviously, there are conditions below the snip I can't see, but it's genuinely it's genuinely silly. They don't even produce any of their own products. Their products is customer lists and downlines, and a lawsuit makes you admit that, which is dot, dot, dot. This is where those Timu screenshots would get interesting. Allegedly, they're not producing really their products, and Timu selling the same thing as them. All alleged. Okay, but this is real juicy, all right? It says not only are the reps just reselling the products, so is the company, like the exact same stuff. It's all the downlines. And now you have opened yourself up to cross about pressure. Isn't there something that you have to recruit downlines to be promoted? Like even if I bought all the product, don't I still have to have a downline with X product to be the, you know, the highest rank or grow on the company? And everyone knows these companies are essentially illegal, right? Bond party selling the products isn't really anything. They are getting their revenue from the vault treasures. Transferring the product will be something or illegally dumping portions of the company. What people should do is appeal the clam slash bomb party case. Someone with standing can file an amicus brief to eliminate non-competes from Florida and strengthen anti mullum laws. I would legit love to be sued by the clams. This next comment. There are many companies that have no compete clauses and they exist for a reason. If they allow it to continue, though, it sets a dangerous precedent and a huge loss of money for these companies when reps are going in to recruit their contractors, which happens a ton. This company, it seems, says, no dice, we want our money back. Not only did they lose their reps and team, but the customers and money that went with them. Follow that money, honey. Another commenter, if you think the bomb party jewelry on Timu is bad, try a reverse image search of literally anything in the Pearl Time MLM. They don't even try to switch the jewelry up. They just glue a fake pearl on and charge a $70 necklace. So apparently there's some non-competes and both of the girlies are fighting. I don't have any other information about this, but I was like, you know what? I will mention it in the video. You guys can take it what you will. I personally wouldn't be surprised that these companies are suing each other and making a bunch of bullshit claims. I do see this happen with people jumping from MLM to MLM. And I do think it's interesting that Pearl Time is trying to sue. I don't know. It's a little wild, but I think the non-compete is something to bring up because many people, again, don't realize this when it comes to joining this MLM. And just to wrap it up to finish up my point, you would not expect half of these things to be existing behind those really entertaining curl shucking lives. And that's why I wanted to talk about it with you today. So that was it for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys are able to learn something or at least be slightly entertained by this messiness behind those TikTok lives that you see all the time. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe to the channel. And don't forget to check out my sponsor in the link in the description below and pin comments. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.